Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for clicking on the video today and spending some time with me here on the channel. Today I'm out in Houston, Texas and we are visiting Palm Harbor Homes here. And that is exactly what's standing behind me, a Palm Harbor Belterra. This beautiful floor plan is a four bed, three bath and I can't wait to get started. So let's get going. It is a beautiful but hot day out here in Houston, Texas, everyone. Like I said, we are over at Palm Harbor Village out here in Houston, and we are taking a look at this beautiful floor plan known as the Belterra, built by Palm Harbor Homes. Now, this home comes from the Fiesta series, and it is a four-bed three bath and it sits at 2,108 square feet. The dimensions of this home is 68 by 31 feet. And just look at the exterior here. Plenty of windows. It's gorgeous. It's nice. But you know what? I can't wait to get into the inside and show you what it's all about. The starting price for this one is about $230,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Now, this interior, let me start to tell you all about it. You know, walking in, what we have are eight and a half foot side walls, nice accent walls. I see a tray ceiling, can lights, and an open floor plan that is absolutely inviting. The size of this living room, as we spin around and take a look at it, is 22 feet 3 inches by 15 feet 2 inches. And just the living room size alone is huge. And look at those windows. We got some really big windows, some extra transoms to let that light in. And hey, while you're here, do me a favor. Hit that like button. That really helps the channel get these videos out to more people. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way, you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted. You'll be able to follow along on this road trip I got taking capturing all these home tours. But hey, you know what? I almost flubbed right there because look at this entertainment center or this wall with the electric fireplace. I like this color accent. I like the shininess of that. I like the way that kind of just brings your attention right to that point. I dig that, to be honest with you. And now coming around and starting to take a look at the rest of the house, one thing that I liked about this home is where the placement of the dining room is and, heck, those accent walls and the color palettes. I'm loving it. But right here, this is your dining room, a beautiful chandelier. And the size of this dining, dining room is 10 feet 9 inches by 12 feet 3 inches. And like I said, it's open, but it's it's nice. It's situated in a place that's just, it's common sense, you know? And then taking a look at this um, island, we have an eat-in island for seating for about four. I see three seats right there, which is nice. That's great. And then taking a look, I mean, take a look at the uh, range hood right there. That color is awesome as we pass through this kitchen. Take a look at everything. A nice little apron sink. Big window right there above the sink. And just let's turn around and take a look at everything. One thing I do see, the registers are up top. So that's where your heating and air is coming from. And I mean, look at this island. Look at the amount of storage that you have. Look at the microwave right there. That's quite convenient. You know what I mean? If you have to microwave cook or defrost and cook, it's right there. The drawer size, nice. Big, solid, great Palm Harbor construction, let me tell you. And then taking a look at this drawer, another big, nice size drawer. And look at the uh, the top of the island. That is a nice design, I think. Um, I like that light wood um, color. And spinning it back around over here, this home, of course, you see it's set up for the um, stainless steel appliance package. This one is all electric. But like I said, look at that range hood. Um, I like the style, I like the design, and it, it, it's cohesive with your fireplace. It, it kind of helps tie everything in. Like I said, I love the color palettes in this home. Very contrasty. You know, you have this blue, the white, the gray, and then this purplish um, shine. I love it. I love it. Um, adjustable shelves in your cupboards here. You have a little more storage capabilities up top or decor. I love the backsplash. Um, I'm not sure exactly what type of back, you know, tile that is, because uh, it's not a subway tile. Um, I can't think of it right now, but I like that. I like that, and I hope you do too. If you can think of those words, let me know um, in the comments below. And then taking a look in here, I mean, look at your pantry. Um, nice pantry off to the side here, a little corner. What, four shelves, plenty of space and storage. I like that. And then you have your big uh, 
apron sink right here with your pull down faucet and like i said that big uh that big window right above i love that you can just kind of just look out and see everything your backyard or wherever you place this you know um again more storage more tiling more accent walls i'm digging the way this house looks so far i mean it's an open floor plan but it is a nice flowing open floor plan so far. Let me know what you guys think in those comments below, of course. And then we're going to go down here and take a look at the guest areas. Um, nice long hallway. Um, I think that's about, you know, the standard three feet across or so. Um, and then this home has a few uh, available options and we're looking at one option, which is the uh, the bedrooms with the Jack and Jill um, restroom option here. And this guest room right here, this first one, is uh, 12 feet by 11 feet one inch um, and like I said there is a Jack and Jill uh, restroom between these two rooms here um, and there's an option for a den if you want to put it instead of this bedroom so there's a lot of options um, we'll talk about a little bit more about that in a moment but take a look at the Jack and Jill restroom here you have some nice lighting up top of big uh, mirror for you and then over here taking a look at the shower we have a nice you know the standard uh, 30 by 60 shower T tad oversized there the way they designed that that's nice that's good um, but this is a great you know restroom in between you know two bedrooms it, it, it's great especially if you have little ones you know that might be learning how to go potty or you know just convenience in general you know uh, it's nice the second guest room here is a tad smaller than the other one being at nine feet eight inches by 12 feet five inches um, really nice we have uh, a nice color palette in the bedrooms and so f so forth a nice like soft gray um, in here in the uh, the closet you have your wooden shelf and your wooden coat rod which is awesome that's really nice and then off into the hallway nice spacious hallway you know you it doesn't look like you're gonna get cramped if you're passing you know each other by uh, behind this door we have your air conditioning unit um, your HVAC unit that's where all your heat and air is coming from um, and then the rest of the hallway here nice and spacious we're gonna take a look and see what's behind this door right here and that is a linen closet some storage whatever you'd like to use it for but you know like I was saying a moment ago this home has plenty of options and if you want to learn about those options there's a link in the description below it'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see some more photos some videos um, you know take a 3d tour but most importantly get that pricing directly from a retailer near you and learn all about this home and now we're in the third guest room and this third guest room is the exact same size as the last one being nine feet eight inches by 12 feet five inches um, it's pretty much a mirrored version of the other room even down to the closet nice ample space it's really nice I'm just gonna soak in the house for a moment and go off into I think we're gonna go take a look at the guest bath now so you know and the one thing like I said you know this is a flowing floor plan and you know um, when you go into your guest bath here it also connects to the other side of the house um, which is really convenient you know um, you don't have to run down the hallway if let's say you're in the the uh, the laundry room or the dining room you can just come off this way over here and get to it but first let's see some of the uh, storage options in here and you know one thing I wanted to point out about this home is it has a a lot plenty plenty of natural light if of course you've noticed this home has no electricity but I've had no problem showing you everything in it so you know that just tells you this home is perfect for natural lighting um, and then there is your toilet nice vanity right over there the same uh, shower tub combo in this restroom and like I said it comes right on out into the other side of the home and here is your utility room you know your your laundry room here plenty of space on the right hand side for your side by sides we got a hanger right there some storage and then right here we have you know you could use it for a desk maybe a folding area you know what would you use that for uh, I wouldn't want to do my homework with with the dryer going right behind me. So, you know, let me know what you what would you do for, with it. And then also, this right here, this little cool um spot to hang your coats is where your water access is. We have about 
four to six screws to get off to get on in there. And that is where your back door is right there. Again, plenty of natural light in this home and the way it flows is rather nice. I'm loving it so far. Um, what are your thoughts? You know, um, what would you change to this home so far? Would you change anything? I mean, I wouldn't. I actually like like that purple, that color scheme right there. I love that. Love that. But now let's check out the primary. And uh, you know, the size of the primary room in here is 16 feet nine inches by 15 feet one inch. That is more than. I would need in a, in, in a primary, but this is a nice size, big primary room. I mean, look at that. You, you have room for, you know, even seating over here off into the corner. As you see, they have a, a chair there. You can put a couch there. Um, plenty of space for your dressers, drawers, whatever you really have would fit into this room. And then now let's take a look at the uh, the primary bath here, which is, I'm loving it. That's all I got to say is I'm loving it. Right over here, we have a uh, one side with a makeup uh, area there with a makeup chair. You have a single vanity, good lighting, plenty of mirrors, and some storage. Spinning around, you can see that is where your commode is. It's in its own little closet. We have a nice soaker tub, a big shower, and another vanity on the other side with a closet. So this is a nice and spacious primary bath in my personal opinion. I mean, that is a nice oval um, soaker tub with plenty of uh, room around it for um, candles, for washcloths, for everything else that you might want to use there. Um, and then there is the other vanity. You know, we have uh, drawer banks. We have more storage on either side. You even have those uh, the, the shelves on the left-hand side. That's nice. That's nice. And then in here, in your primary uh, closet here, you, it's it's a little smaller than I'd, I'd like it. But you know what? What I do like about it is it had that uh, built-in uh, cupboard and drawer system in the middle, which makes it convenient. Um, and then right over here, love the shower. I love the rain head showers that go straight down. Um, this is a nice walk-in shower with a seat here. Um, I'm not sure of the sizing reference on here, uh, but it has a nice little uh, lip there, makes it convenient to get in and out. And um, it's a nice tiled all-inclusive shower. That's, that's really cool. I like that. I like that. I mean, this is a nice and decadent little uh, little primary uh, bath, you know, connected to the primary suite here. This just is really nice. I dig it. Um, and and the blue with this home, I really dig it. Um, I love what they did with the with the um, kind of ocean esque uh, decorations here. But just imagine what you could do with your home if you're interested in this. So you know, like I said, if you're interested in a Palm Harbor, take a look at the link in the description below. Learn all about it. Thank you, everyone, for spending your time with me and hanging out as I take another home tour. I hope to see you again wherever that home tour is going to be. But of course, remember, in the meantime, always live smarter, choose manufactured. You have some wonderful days. Travel easy, everyone. See you next time.